We are here with Rocky Long, the new defensive coordinator for the Aztecs. And uh, before here, 11 years head coach at New Mexico, and seven of the last eight years, your teams were bowl eligible. Uh, you decide to leave there and come to San Diego State as the defensive coordinator. Take us through that whole thought process for you. Well, as a head coach, there's a lot of things involved other than just coaching, and, and I really missed coaching. And I thought at the University of New Mexico it was time for a change, that they needed some new blood and some uh, different direction and give them a chance to be better than we were. Uh, and But the real reason is I miss coaching. Head coaches don't get to coach very much, where you actually – uh, get to be with players, have your own position group, all those kind of things. And uh, coordinators do a lot of important things to a football team, but nobody knows it. You know, everybody blames the head coach for offense, for defense, for special teams. They all blame the head coach, and there's a whole bunch of other guys coaching that stuff. And the head coach kind of is the manager and oversees it. But uh, I, I missed actually being with the players, and head coaches aren't with the players very often. After you decided to leave New Mexico, you, you did have an interest uh, from a, from several teams in, in big conferences, Big 12, Pac-10, SEC. Uh, the Mountain West Conference has also obviously proven itself to be a very good conference. But again, why the Aztecs over some of those other schools? Well, I didn't really plan on uh, staying in the same conference, and I didn't really want to. Uh, and I had a couple other opportunities to go someplace else, but the... Uh, friendship that I have with Coach Hoke and our similar philosophies on defense and knowing what I was getting into and we we're friends from way back and ran this kind of defense w uh, together at one time at Oregon State uh, it was a lot more comfortable I thought a lot better fit than going someplace where I didn't know anybody or uh, didn't feel as comfortable or at ease as I do here you mentioned that you worked with Coach Hoke at Oregon State, and apparently he looked at what you did defensively there as a guide on how he would structure his defense at Ball State. Uh, what are those philosophies? Uh, well, we're an attack-first team. I mean, everybody wants to say they're an attack defense, but we probably blitz 80% of the time, maybe more. Uh, we'd like to be a man coverage team. Uh, we, we would like to dictate to the offense rather than the offense dictate to us. We would like them to make adjustments. We would like them to change their protections. We would like them to change their blocking schemes. Rather than the defense always adjusting the offense, we'd much rather have the offense have to adjust to us. And so the philosophy is to bring a lot of blitzes, run blitzes, pass blitzes, try to attack their blocking schemes and see if we can make them change from what they do best to something they don't do very often. And starting as the defensive coordinator here at San Diego State, do you look at the talent that you have, or do you just have the type of defense that you have and hope that they adapt? No, I, I think it's smart to you evaluate your talent, uh, as we will, and we'll put, we'll put the 11 best defensive players on the field, and the defense will be designed around the 11 best players. And then we will recruit to try to get to the defensive scheme that we want to be in, but you put your 11 best guys out there, and if that means five defensive linemen, we'll put five defensive linemen out there. If that means six or seven DBs, we'll put six or seven DBs out there and address the scheme to our best players. And then we'll recruit to try to get to a 3-3-5 defense. Okay. Uh, 2001 and 2003, when you were at New Mexico, your teams were fifth nationally against the run. And I know you, we're going to say this is probably not the smartest question I'm going to ask, but is it stop run first? I, I think, that yeah. Kind of success. No, I agree. I, I think you have to stop the run first. More and more teams are going to four and five wide receivers, and more and more teams are going to the spread offense uh, where they're going to throw it maybe 40, 50, 60, 70 times a game. Uh, but you have to, even in those spread offenses, you have to stop the run. You try to make someone one dimensional. And the worst thing in the world is get a beating by people running it down your throat because that's a physical beating as well as a beating on the scoreboard. Uh, if you give up 400 yards rushing, it is a whole lot worse on your mentality than 400 yards passing. No Mountain West Conference coach has won more games than you. Uh, is this as good as the league has been since the time that you've been here? The Mountain West Conference is as good as most of the BCS leagues, better than a couple of them. Uh, the Mountain West Conference deserves an automatic berth to the BCS. Like anybody else, we just don't have the, uh, the media power or the television power to make them do that. Nobody wants to play a Mountain West Conference school. Uh, last year, the Mountain West Conference was 6-1 and ones against the Pac-10. We saw what Utah did to Alabama in the Sugar Bowl. Uh, this league is as good as most and better than probably two BCS leagues, 
we just don't get the credit. Talk a little bit about uh, the past and, and, and the guys that you're working with right now. Uh, Al Borges, obviously on the other side of the ball, um, you work together with him at UCLA. Uh, talk about your counterpart on the offense. Well, I had a great time at UCLA with Al as the offense coordinator. Uh, he uh, enjoys the challenge where he doesn't put any stipulations on what the defense can do. And I enjoy that challenge too. And I don't put any stipulations on what the offense can do while you're putting in your offense in defensive schemes. So it's a lot of fun. He's an excellent offensive mind. He's a great play caller. Uh, as a defensive guy, you like to think you can lock into certain guys, and you can. And I won't tell you which ones they are because I want to keep locking into them. Uh, but there are certain guys you can't lock into, and they always have you off balance, and Al's one of those guys. And we had great success with Bob Toledo as the head coach. We had great success at UCLA, and it was a lot of fun. So hopefully that same success is coming with us here. And then just the, the big three, uh, yourself, uh, Coach Borges and, and head coach Brady Hoke, it seems to me, and our, our fans are talking about this, as three very good football coaches that you have as the head coach and the two coordinators. Well, I think Brady will do a great job as a head coach. I, I think he has the right mentality. I think he he loves the players, but he, he's very demanding on his players. Uh, and, and I think the combination of uh, him at the helm and the two coordinators that we think we understand football, but the most important thing about winning football games is the players. Uh, you have to get the players to do what you want. You have to get them to execute well. You got to get them into a team spirit where they want to win as bad as the coaches do and, and for each other, not just for, not be individuals, be a team. And, and that takes a long time to do. And, and uh, I hope fans don't get too excited because it's going to take more than a year to get that mentality across to the players in this program. But once it's there, it's there forever. And when, once you get on a roll, it lasts for a long time. And, and I got uh, great belief in both those guys. I got great belief in Coach Oak and, and Al and I. Uh, I mean, I think we can do it, but the players are the ones that win games. Coach Long, thanks for sitting down with us, and uh, best of luck. Thanks.